Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Time once again for my pseudo cast. Oh, excuse me. Alright, anyway, um, this time the planet I got going is, uh, Neptune. And, um, and yes, this is gonna be the Wikipedia. This is the wiki image. Um, I did find a YouTube video that had, um, that had the, um, uh, it's got the actual planet on there, but they, on this video here, they, they seem to have this fetish about uh, putting a whole bunch of different views on there. It's like a bunch of goofy backgrounds. And, and I never knew Neptune had rings. But yeah, it, this image here, it shows that it has rings on it. But, so I guess it's a bit like Saturn. So. But yeah, it, but it... Yeah, but it's got a... It's got this uh, video here. It's got weird sci-fi stuff. Like... So, yeah, I, so I figured I'd just go ahead and stick with the original Wikipedia image. So, but anyway, here goes. Okay, I'm gonna sound check it here. Oh, and while this is going on, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy uh, peach mango flavored. So, get ready for some pops. Quiet. Let me turn up a little bit. Okay, but otherwise, we didn't really do a whole massive amount of stuff last night. Um, at least aside from the uh, pinball stream I did, um, which actually didn't go too bad. Um, pinball FX3, I actually, I, I actually did pretty good in there. Um, like I have been doing recently. And then Pinball Arcade. Um, I think I broke my cold streak. I actually, I actually did alright. Yeah, so, usually, um, usually the past few times I've played Pinball Arcade, I've sucked ass. Ended up having to, uh, I ended up having to abandon the session because I was getting so, getting so frustrated. But no, um, now granted, I didn't, I didn't do exceptional or anything. I think, uh, in the attack for Mars table, yeah, that is starting to get a little loud. But in the uh, attack from Mars table, um, yeah, I did pretty good in there. But uh, all the rest of the tables, pfft, yeah, I pretty much tanked. Or let me rephrase that. I, I didn't. Again, I didn't. Um, I didn't do super terrible to where I had to quit the session, you know, shortly after starting it or anything. But uh. I, I, I wasn't too hot on all the rest of the tables, so. But I I did good enough to say I've broken my cold streak. So. But um, otherwise, I've also, I've also been on a real Slay the Spire tear, though, too. I mean, just, you know, I'm kind of wanting to, I'm kind of wanting to play some uh, Dragon Ball Fighters like I used, like I was playing. But again, I got bit by the Slay the Spire bug, so it's, it's pretty much the only game I really care to play now. Uh, hopefully not forever. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping this just passes. This passes by me like a phase. I'm hoping that's what happens, but you never know. And looks like I'm gonna have to turn this down a little bit more. But yeah, it. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, but uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the only game I really care to play now. But like I said, I hope hopefully I don't hopefully hopefully this phase will pass, and I'll go back to playing uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. But again, well, I'll just have to ride it out. Uh, but otherwise, oh, but it, that and I I got a feeling. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm still playing uh. Slay the Spire is because the music I'm listening to to accompany it. Originally, it was just uh, it's called dungeon synth music. You know, I just got it's synthesizer synthesizer music that I think is meant to be uh, meant to be played during like tabletop uh, tabletop role playing game 
sessions like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, Dungeon Synth is supposed to be the kind of music that gets played in the background of that. Well, um, a new genre of music, or kind of kind of a variation of it, uh, popped up in my YouTube recommendations called Black Ambient Music. And uh, I started listening to that, and I'm like, wow. So I started, I think I, um, I think I started listening to that. No, actually, let me rephrase that. The, that music actually started appearing when I was uh, streaming, when I was streaming Slay the Spire. Um, whenever an album ends, I don't even bother trying to, trying to analyze which one to play next. Usually I just, I just click the, I just click the album at the upper left corner. So yeah, that, so through that, I was starting to, they were starting to play black ambient music, which I'm like, damn, this shit's pretty cool. So I think so. I think uh, that that music there is probably one of the reasons why I'm why I'm uh, still playing Slay the Spire, because the two go go so good together. So. Which uh, which uh, it also kind of saddens me too that uh. I haven't played any vinyl records in a while. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking because I'm so burnt out from playing them so much that I'm just, um, I'm wanting to hear something different. And again, part of that, part of that too, might also be because, because of me, I'll listen to Dungeon Synth and Dark Ambient music now. This is also, you know, this is also the type of music that I don't recall ever hearing before. And best of all, um, this, it seems to get past, uh, it seems to get past Twitch's, uh, copyright, or copyright detection software, too. Because, uh, I, I don't recall any of my, uh, any of my stream vids being muted because of copyright. So, that's a nice added bonus. <clears throat> and I think, um, I, and now that I think about it, yeah, I think, um, I could, I might do this as an experiment if I can remember to, um, maybe exporting one of my stream vids to YouTube and see if it flags it for copyright. If it doesn't, then I might actually start doing this more often than just uh, streaming on Twitch and then just exporting the uh, stream videos to YouTube. So yeah, but but I, I have done a I have done a few pseudo casts with dungeon synth music playing in the background and it's it's uploaded to YouTube, no problem. So no no flag or anything. So but yeah, yeah it just But I mean going back going back you know, going back to vinyl, I I just I never you know, never thought I would say something like that. I mean I've been I basically been playing vinyl records during my streams for the better part of four years now. It is, it just seems, you know, it just seems kind of odd that I just suddenly quit. So. Um, but let me, um, let me just move right along. Um, I've also been watching, um, like yesterday, I've been watching a lot of, um, a lot of Ami uh, Amoeba Records vids. And for those that don't know, Excuse me. It's a it's a YouTube channel that has a. Uh, they um. Uh, they'll they'll record like various musicians, going into their Amoeba record store, and just they'll just go around and uh. I, last I checked some odd years ago, I think they're given like a two hundred dollar budget. To go and uh buy, buy whatever they want, within that two hundred dollar budget. Most of the time they're buying records, but they'll buy like other random stuff like coffee mugs and calendars and stuff like that. But mostly it's all uh, records. So, but uh, it, it it's really but it's it's really cool as hell watching this. I'm a huge fan of it. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I think I've I think I actually a few of my uh, a few of uh, a few vinyl records in my collection I actually did get from Amoeba Records. And um, I think um, I wish I wish I knew the name of the company, but it's a it's a local 
It's a local record store. Uh, it's in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I wish I wish I knew the name of it, but but I think I've gotten a I think I've gotten a few records from that place as well. So here, let me up. Uh, let me go on my browser and find it. But yeah, because it's kind of it's kind of bugging me right now. Electric Fetus. That's the name of it. Yeah, Electric Fetus. Um, I've actually, um, uh, yeah, and I've actually bought a few records from, from those guys as well. They're located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So yeah, I've got a few rec bought a few records from them. But, but anyway, getting back to what I was, what I was originally talking about, it's kind of, it's kind of cool watching all these people, like, you know, being, you know, being video or, for lack of a better word, being cameraed. Um, you know, buying records, and then what, later on, what they'll do is uh, they'll sit on a couch and they'll they'll tell the interview person the stuff they bought and and why and like you know sketching in some background and whatnot. But uh, I used to watch I used to watch this uh, channel a lot, like like many years ago. But again, like yesterday, um, Amoeba Records it just came up on my YouTube recommendations, so I'm like, hmm, haven't checked that out in a while. So, uh, but these days. Uh, ever since the co uh, the COVID pandemic hit, Damon, um, instead of it being called "What's in my bag," now it's called "What's in my home." You know, now they're just basically uh, they're showing off their record collection. I don't know the I don't know if there are specific criteria that Amoeba Records told them that they had to go by, like you know, you know, show off your top five records that you bought from us, or you know, something like that. I don't know, but. But I mean, it, it's it's not the same. And and before I forget, um, I'm probably going to be repeating myself here, some of the things that I said yesterday. So just to give people a heads up. But but yeah, like I was saying, it, it's just I mean, watching you know watching these um watching these uh oh it's called the home edition. That's what it is. It's called. What's in my bag? Home edition. I, I can't watch those. It, it's just not the same. I mean, I gotta I gotta actually see them shopping in the record store and then you know sitting on the couch showing you know telling the interview person what they got and why. I mean, I I've got to see it like that. I can't really see it. I mean, hell, I could probably uh I could probably type down. Go on YouTube, type down my record collection. And I'm sure it'll probably give me a whole bunch of videos of uh, all these people, like, you know, inside their houses showing off all the records got, they got. I mean, you know, I wouldn't need to go specifically go on a, the uh, Amoeba channel to do that. So. But, yeah, it was kind of the same thing I said about uh, back in, like, the two, in the 2010s when I was watching a fair amount of uh, evil fighting game tournaments. You know, and now, again, with the... Uh, with the COVID pandemic hit, you know, it now they're like doing these fighting game tournaments in like empty rooms and stuff, you know. And some of these guys are like, or for the times that they actually do show, or they actually do show like a like a public fighting game tournament, they're like wearing masks. I mean, I get they're you know they're trying to avoid getting infected or they're trying to avoid infecting others, but I mean again, it it just doesn't. It's just not the same. So, but I, you know, so now fast forwarding back to Amoeba, I mean, it, the, the, uh, the what's in my bag home edition, it, it just ain't the same. I can't watch it. So, but, um, but yeah, um, but anyway, um, the what the, the pre pandemic uh, Amoeba videos, been watching, you know, still been watching those, just, Watching music, watching musicians I have never heard of, buying music that I've also never heard of. So that was that was another thing too. There's a little, 
I mean, there are a lot of musicians out there that I've never heard of. And, again, they're buying a whole ton of music that I've never heard of either. I mean, it's, it, it, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like how, how some people say, when I look out there in the starry skies, it makes me, it makes you, makes you realize how insignificant you are. I mean, all we are is just a little, a little tiny speck of dust in the vast cosmos out there. I kind of get that same feeling too, watching, ame you know, watching these uh, amoeba videos. You know, all the stuff that I, you know, all the stuff that I've collected in my 49 year life, all the stuff that I've listened to, I swear to God, it's like, it's like pretty damn insignificant when compared to, uh, compared to like all these, uh, one, all these musicians that are, you know, all these musicians that I've never heard of, you know, and, and again, they're sitting here like all these records that I've never even heard of. I mean, yeah, he, he kind of makes you feel a little insignificant. I mean, yeah, so I mean, this kind of, it's kind of a parallel, what kind of, or excuse me, it kind of parallels with outer space. And then on top of that, um, this, uh, the Amoeba YouTube channel, um, I think, um, uh, I think it literally has been out for like 10 years. That was something else I forgot to mention yesterday too. I mean, this wasn't something that just came out a year ago. Um, I think, um, uh, they've been doing, uh, what's in my bag for like, gotta be at least the early 2010s. So yeah, they've been doing this for about 10 years. So you can only imagine all these unknown obscure musicians that are, you know, that are like going through their doors. So, and and again, on top of it, all this uh, totally obscure music that they're all buying. I mean, I remember back when, uh, one incident that uh, that I definitely recall, um, back when, uh, back when I, when I was working in a grocery store in Oklahoma, you know, whereas uh, most of the people I work with are, you know, are rednecks, um, where they're rednecks and they're, uh, they're meth addicts, you know, those kind of people. I think I played, uh, I think I played The Residents, their debut album, Meet The Residents. One, one of the redneck guys started freaking out, like, this music's not gonna brainwash me, is it? And, um, the whole, I mean, I don't, I don't have my webcam, but throughout the entire, throughout the entire, maybe, I want to say the first half that I was playing this album for them, they all have this real sickly look on their faces, like, uh, uh, uh. they all look like a bunch of walking Mr. Yuck stickers, so I figured, you know, I'm a nice guy and all, I went ahead and, went ahead and killed it, and I can't remember what I put on, I probably put on, like, the Eagles Hotel California album or something, you know, something like that, but... But yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the look on their faces. So I mean, I don't. So I don't think they even they realize. You know, even, even the uh, off the wall stuff that I'm playing, even what I got is nothing. You know, compared to the enormity of uh, music in general. So. But, alrighty. Uh, but otherwise, that's gonna, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so, but otherwise, um, thanks for, uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and this will be my last cast. Uh, my work, my work week has started up today, so, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be working, assuming I don't call in, but anyway, um, so you probably won't be hearing from me till probably Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by everybody and see you all next time. Take care.